Got her fired back up. Said, I'll get that yellow yet. And leaves pieces of his machine strung along the exit of turn 12 and out onto the front straightaway. And never see the left front tire Lynn, we're in the middle of the racetrack. Let's see if we can tell what happens here. Comes Bordwick. And all of a sudden, something had to break in the rear. Something that dry, the, that holds the rear in true broke and smashes the inside wall hard. Yeah, I'll bet. And look at this whole wheel and assembly. That spindle, brake rotor, caliper, that was a heavy blow. And that they are coming down to expect that, to see whether or not, in fact, Dennis Huth is running down one of the NASCAR officials to take a look and determine whether or not they have to repair or replace this section, which would take an awfully long time, or whether or not it's safe enough for everybody to go. From here, it looks like it's just the bottom section, and I don't think that's wide enough for any car to get through there, uh, but it's NASCAR's call, obviously. Here's what did the damage when Bordwick's car turned left. It really clobbered that metal railing. And they've taken tires and chained them to the supports behind the fence, so we're ready to go racing again, guys. Time for me to get back on the other side of the wall. Well, I like that. Use your head, come up with a solution, and do it in a hurry. Yeah, good idea. 